Okay, my YNR fans, we got to talk about today's episode and shout out to CBS Awareness for bringing awareness to mental health awareness. So we're going to talk about in this episode first how Nate ends up taking the CEO job over at Newman Media, which means Sally is out. And then Billy saves Chelsea from herself and making a life determining decision. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the Young and the Restless and the Bold and the Beautiful. This is your Young and the Restless Recap for October 31st. And without any further ado, let's talk about this episode. Okay, so first we're going to start off talking about Victoria and Nate. So we're in Victoria's office. She's thanking Nate for the meeting, and she's hoping that this means that he's decided to accept the position. However, it started off with Nate declining instead and act like he wants to protect Victoria, who might be exposed as the CEO he fed the info to. And I can understand that. Now, Victoria won't need Nate's protection and will act like she actually looks innocent because of the move. Now, since Nate ruined the whole takeover plan, Victoria suggests that she'd seem crazy for hiring him. However, Victoria appreciates Nate's loyalty and thinks he's actually a decent man for looking out for her. Now, whether Victoria gets exposed or not, she wants to surround herself with people like Nate and give him a chance to act on all of the big ideas that he has. Now, Nate won't think he fits the mold of a decent man any longer because of all of his self-loathing from his behavior or what he did with his family. But he appreciates Victoria's kind words and offers some in return. Now, Victoria gives Nate another nudge to go after what he wants. So, he decides that he's on board with being Newman Media's new CEO. So, now we switch to a different topic, different storyline. And it starts out over at Noah Newman's nightclub. Now, Billy is irritating Lily by bailing on their date to check on Chelsea. Now, since Billy assumes Adam is responsible for Chelsea's emotional state, Adam is always to blame when it comes to Billy. Adam defends himself to Lily. Now, Billy now makes it upon the rooftop and finds Chelsea on the ledge. Now, he pushed her to tell him what's going on. Billy urges Chelsea to talk to him, but she just want to be left alone. Thankfully, Billy will keep talking to Chelsea anyway and will try to hand over his coat. It's a strategy he has to convince Chelsea to come back toward the building again, but it won't work. Chelsea is sobbing over all of her blunders, and she even took accountability, including what she did to Adam and Ray, and feel like maybe this is punishment for her bad choices. Now, since Chelsea don't want to wake up anymore, she act like she doesn't belong in this world. Billy disagrees and try to remind Chelsea of what she has to live for, especially Connor. Now we get to see Billy also get up on the ledge beside her and he tries to do everything he can to try to help her. Now just when it looked like Chelsea might calm down, she whispers to him to tell Connor that she slipped and nearly leaped over the ledge. Now, of course, Billy refuses to let Chelsea do this, so he snatches her back, wrestle with her until they're down in the lower area. And, of course, you know it's been a while because Adam is wondering what happened. He's texting her. He's worried. But once Billy wraps Chelsea up with his jacket and offers her a pep talk, he vowed that they can he can come and stay with her tonight. Now, we do see Billy spot Adam coming in. And, of course, Adam see Billy and Chelsea embracing when he arrives to the rooftop. He pick up that there's something very tense going on. And, of course, Adam is pushing for an explanation. But, of course, Billy shuts him down for now and lead Chelsea away. So, this whole situation is leaving Adam looking perplexed and distraught. In my opinion, that girl need as much help as she can. And especially since 
Adam is also the father of her son, Connor. I would think Billy would be smart enough instead of being so biased and let Adam help them. So, you know, yeah, this whole thing is really, really bad. I'm glad that they put a spotlight on mental health and they even gave some information on where to call. Which, if anyone is in crisis, all you have to call here in the U.S. is 988 and therefore you can talk to someone. Also check into other things if you have a, a, an employer Look into their EAP system. Uh, they usually give like five free visits to talk to a therapist. Also check into um, a virtual option on through an app on your phone. One of them is betterhelp.com. Um, I'm not a sponsor, but I do know people who use that. It's easy. It's from the comfort of your home. You don't have to go to an office if you don't want to feel embarrassed. Sitting in the waiting room, people looking at you, whatever. Just get the help that you need. So there are options. Okay, so there you have it. Your Young and the Restless recap for Monday, October 31st, 2022. Stay tuned for the bold and the beautiful recap also for today. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you soon. Bye.